Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I will pretty much be reacting to a guy named Darman. He pretty much creates short films and well I guess I'm gonna just react to one and give my opinion and stuff. This one is prosecutor since innocent black man a jail lives to regret it, Darman. So so let's see. Well, let's see what's gonna go on. See, Your Honor, it's without question that this defendant did these crimes. No, no, that's impossible. I wasn't in Philly when it happened. I was in LA at a Dodgers game. He's lying. You can tell by looking at him. Order. Hmm. Defendant, do you have any proof of your alibi? Do you have any proof of your alibi? Uh, no, we don't have No, we don't have Okay. Well. There's no evidence to no corroborate Robert's story. The court finds the defendant, Robert Williams, guilty on all six counts of assault with a deadly weapon. What? What? No! 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 No, please. He's not my baby boy. Please. I didn't do it. I know he did it. Your Honor, please. You have to believe me. I'm innocent. I put that on my life. Okay. You know I didn't do this. You know it. Order. Mr. Williams, that's enough. Not another word. We'll reconvene tomorrow for sentencing. Daddy. No, please. Don't go. Everything's going to be okay, sweetie. I promise. Daddy loves you so much. Hey, boss. What if he's telling the truth? What if we got the wrong guy? Well, you don't think I know what I'm doing? No, no, I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm just wondering <laughs> if maybe we shouldn't take another look at the facts. I just want a case. <laughs> Who cares whether he did it or not? Uh, okay. Um, uh, okay, selfish. <laughs> I am selfish, but... All right. All right, so... The tr there is currently no evidence that if he's if if he was proven guilty or not in which case the title says he's innocent so it's important as i'm one step yeah he's obviously innocent and this guy's just acting all selfish a promotion and besides something about a promotion bruh people like him they're all the same just a bunch of criminals um okay bud Please, sir, please. It's never too late to do the right thing. Dang, bro, that stinks. Bruh. I wasn't in Philly when it happened. I was in LA at a Dodgers game. I can see my headlines now. D.A. Graham gives low-life criminal life in prison. Keep up the great work. He's innocent. He's innocent. Can you give us your mind? Yeah. What are you talking about? He wasn't in Philly when it happened. His story checks out. Look, I have his credit card statements right here. He was making purchases in Los Angeles while the crime was happening. Okay. This person is Los Angeles, this from Los Angeles. Yeah, this guy's innocent. Okay, so? Well, so if he was in Los Angeles when the crime was happening in Philadelphia, then it couldn't have been him. We have to get these to the defense right away. Have you lost your mind? I mean, uh... The, the real question is, have you lost your mind? Maybe somebody stole his card. Maybe he gave it to him. I can think of a thousand reasons. That's sure. That's enough. The case is over. You hear me? Bruh. Yeah, no, we're chilling no, along just a bit. Walk the line. See if you can get ahead. What a brat. 
You got more proof? Nice. I contacted a local convenience store and I found a photo of him. He bought a hot dog just before the game. It's not possible. Take a look. He couldn't have committed a crime in Philly if he was buying a hot dog in LA. That made me look like him. It's him. I had facial recognition confirmed. Has anyone else seen this? No way. Good. Let's keep it that way. I don't want you humiliating us or risking this case because you got some pictures that don't even look like the guy. But sir, quiet. You want to lose your job? Bro. I don't want to hear one more word about this. Poggers, poggers. A reporter was giving an interview outside of the game. Okay, so, so I guess who walks by? There. That's Robert. Bruh, that is him. I, I can't believe this. this. This proves his innocence. Yeah, he is innocent. Let's go. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, a soul. Everything okay, Mr. Graham? Anything you want to share? No, no. Very well. Mr. Williams. Freaking liar, what a liar. Are not minor crimes. But our statute requires a 25 year mandatory minimum sentence. <laughs> Please, Ron, I'm telling you, I, I didn't do it. You've already been found guilty. So, unless the people have anything else. The court hereby sentences the defendant Robert Williams to 25 years in a federal prison without the possibility of parole. Oh Yo, this just got tense. Adrenaline pumps. Excuse me? Hey, I, I'm sorry, your, your, your honor. You, you didn't do it. May I approach the bench? You may. Your honor, there is no way that Mr. Williams committed those crimes. You see, I have here a credit card statement showing purchases made by the defendant with his credit card in Los Angeles on the same day that the crime took place in Philadelphia. And I also have a photo of the defendant in a convenience store here in Los Angeles. I'm a hot dog. He's shown all the evidence. Before the crime took place. And I have a video as well, Your Honor, that shows the defendant at Dodger Stadium at the exact time and date that the crime was taking place in Philadelphia, over 2,000 miles away. Good work, good work, sir. <laughs> Robert Williams could not have committed those crimes. He was telling the truth all along. That's right. Is, uh, is all this true, Mr. Grant? Uh, well, uh, why didn't you say anything? Because he was more interested in his promotion than he was in saving an innocent man from jail. I presented him with all of this evidence, Your Honor. And yet he ignored it. Well, what'd you expect? Huh? <laughs> okay, so maybe he didn't do this crime. But I'm sure he's done dozens of others. Look at him, he's clearly a criminal. Your Honor, order. I've heard all I needed to hear. Mr. Williams, the charges against you have been dropped. You're free to go. Let's go. And you, 
Mr. Graham. Oh, please. Obstructing justice and tampering with evidence is a very serious crime. Your Honor. I'm going to see to it that not only do you never practice law again, but that we send the right man to jail this time. You. Bailiff, arrest him. <laughs> oh, this can't be happening. This case is dismissed. Yo. I feel like I've, I've heard a story like this before. It's it okay, and it it's um um I can't remember the story. It's, it's never too late to do the right thing. This video by Darman. Hey, Darman hey, fans. Darman. So you see, we're not just telling stories. We're changing lives. And when you share my videos, you're helping to change lives too. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video. That was nice. Um, um the story I think the story was about a Latino. Um he he lived in LA. And there was charges against him for assault, I believe. But he was at a Dodger game in LA. Kind of like the story like this. And um, he he was proven and he was proven guilty, even with evidence of him, with the picture of him in Dodger Stadium. And I think he was sentenced to about a decade or more in jail. And I think he got out just some years back. I don't know. The, but yeah, this reminds me a lot to that case. This is actually a very beautiful story. It's very beautiful. I actually like it a lot. Um, shout out to Darn Man. This was actually a pretty good film. I liked it. I mean, yeah, I mean, what do you guys think about this? Um, this is just some uh, content that I'm trying to see if I could do more, you know, just a little bit of rea reaction. And yeah. Yeah, that'll, that'll be it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.